Hi and welcome to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create user interface elements that follow your character around and are positioned on the screen relative to your character's position. So um, in this case we're going to put a name over the top of our character and as the character runs around on the screen that name will stay pinned at the top. So this is often what you see in multiplayer games when they've got their name. Now, in the past I've got tutorials where you can put 3D text over the top of the name and actually will be stuck on the character in the 3D world, but I wanted to make it a little bit cleaner. So in this one, we'll use the um, UE elements to put 2D text that sits over the top and stays with our character as the character moves around. Now, if you want to follow along, you don't need to use my character, you can just create a cube that moves around for arrow keys, um, just anything. Now before I show you how we're going to do it, I want to tell you why we're going to do it this way. The reason there's an issue, well it's not really an issue, but um, complexity I guess is the word, in putting a UE object over the top of a character who is in 3D is that the coordinate systems are different. So the world, the 3D world, has its own X, Y, and Z coordinate system. Now, it can be orientated in any direction depending on how you're looking at it. And then you have the screen itself, which is the window that you're looking through the computer at the 3D world. And this screen has a different coordinate system altogether. So what you're wanting to do is to take the 3D position of your character or some point on your character and project that onto the screen. Which means that we're carrying out what is called a projection from one coordinate system to another. Okay, so let's do this. To begin, I'm going to add a UI or UI if you prefer um, text element in the hierarchy, so that's right click, UE and text. Now this text is going to have the name displayed on it and in this case it's Granny, so I'll just put Granny. Now the text is down here, you might be able to see that's quite faint. Um, what I'm going to do is make it white because it just makes it a little bit more visible and you could also increase the font size if you want to do that as well. It's totally up to you what the text is going to look like. So it's um, down in this bottom corner. Now we can move it around if we go into the 2D view and move it like this. And this is actually a really good illustration how the screen coordinate system is completely different to the 3D world because you can see the 3D world down here and it looks absolutely tiny. But what you see in this view here is not what's going on with the camera. Okay, so you've got the 2D screen world and you've also got the 3D world here. Now we could actually move this name in the scene view and just click on it to get closer and move it up until it's like above Granny's head in the camera display. But the problem is, if we actually run this now, is that's going to stay right where it is. And as the character moves around, it has no influence whatsoever over the name. So we want this name here to stay stuck to the head of the character. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is actually add a placeholder in the 3D world. So if we go to the 3D mode and find our model there, while it's selected in the hierarchy, I'm going to right click and go to 3D object and put in a sphere. Now this sphere is just a placeholder. Um, so it's like our name badge or tag to um, put the name onto. I'm going to move it up and position it about where we want the name to appear. So it's only going to use the transform of this sphere uh, to position the name and when we've got it working right it can just turn off the um, collider and the mesh 
altogether uh, and just use its transform. Next, we'll create some code. So on the project window, go create C sharp and let's call it clamp name and then open that up in your editor. So this clamp name script needs to know about our text element that we just created. So it's going to be a public text and name label. Now, whenever you refer to any um, UE objects inside of your um, class, you need to also add using Unity Engine.UE at the top like that. And uh, now what we're going to do is position this name label according to the world position of that sphere. So in the update loop, I'll just add in this text. And what it's doing is it's working out the position on the screen that corresponds with where that sphere that's attached to granny is in the world. And to do that, we use the function world to screen point. So it takes a world point and converts it into screen coordinates. Now this uh, method is part of what the camera can do. And we're getting the camera.main and then using uh, this method here. Now, um, one thing to note, camera.main looks in your scene for the camera that has a tag of um, main camera. So if we just find the main camera here. Now it's called main camera, but when you go camera.main, it's not looking for main camera as its name. It's looking for the tag. So see up in the inspector that it's tagged main camera. And that's how that code actually links and finds your camera. So if you've created a camera from scratch, if you went in here and went new camera, it will create you a camera, sure, but it won't be automatically tagged as the main camera. So just ensure you've got that, otherwise you will get some errors. Okay, let's go back to the code. Now, after we've got the new position or the screen position, all we're doing is setting our text elements transform position to equal our name position, which is that 2D coordinate we just worked out. And we don't even need the start function in this case. So I'll just delete that. So it's really nice short code um, that's doing something quite useful. So I'm just going to save that. Now I'll go back to Unity and grab that code and attach it to the sphere object. That sphere object is a child of Granny's model. So when I move Granny around on the screen, that sphere is going to stay stuck in that position relative to uh, Granny, which means that now the text element will move around stuck to that sphere. But before it will do that, the script that we just attached still needs to know about the name label. And that's this text element here that we created before. And I just drag and drop that onto the um, clamp name script. Okay, so let's run it and see how we go. Okay, so now when I move Granny around, you can see that the text goes with her. Now it's currently sitting over here when that sphere, if I can turn it on while I'm running it, you can see is there. So it's not aligned with the center point. If you want it to be in the center, then you can play around with the text settings down here. If we now move it to be center aligned um, as the paragraph setting on the text, then it will align nicely with the center point of that sphere. Okay, so if I stop playing, that's not going to stick. So unplay, click text, hit that um, centering for the paragraph, go back to your sphere and yep, it's already turned off. Okay, so now when we play, the name will go around and move with your character. Okay, so 
Um, you can use any um, UE elements in this way and attach them to your character. For example, you might have a health bar, uh, which is a slider, um, which would also go with Granny, um, or an image, or anything else that you want. And that's basically how you do it. Convert 3D coordinates into screen coordinates.